So in this part, I will use some geometric expression or using economic knowledge uh, from managerial economics to explain the international flow of goods, services, and capital. Uh, other name is balance of famine. The first, we are talking about global linkages. So when we try to understand international uh, flow of capital, in that case is uh, first, we will try to cover links from international to domestic flows, that is uh, from, from abroad to home countries. And the first point is global linkage, uh, what is very much related to domestic spending and production to current and capital account. Now you have to make some relationship between domestic spending and production. Uh, before uh, we enter into the depth, just think about this. If production of a country is fulfilling their local demand, their national demand, and still they have more production. So after meeting country's demand, if you have more production, then what will you do? You, you will go for export. Now, ex after exporting, you have earnings from abroad. And these earnings will be used again for development. So if we use these earnings for development, is still we have excess money. Then this excess money, how will a country can use? Again, production is high than their consumption. So they're involved in export. After exporting, they have money. They have used a portion of the money for the development purposes, for consumption, for other countries' requirements to meet countries' requirement, but still you have access. So what's the outcome of this excess money? How will you use this excess money? Providing loan to other country. You see that you will go for investment. You will yes. like invest in other countries or you will provide loan to other countries. This is the simple concept of flow of capital. This is the simple concept of flow of goods and services and capital. Now we will open next. So what will happen, you see? You will have domestic savings and investment and the capital account. So first you have exports, that is current account, excess money. What are you going to do? Either you are saving those money as a reserve or you're also investing. You are keeping this money as savings or you are investing or you are lending to other countries. So balance of payment works this way. We will use some uh, symbol here. What it is? We know that national income is what? National income means consumption and savings. So you see that NI is a national income. C means uh, what a spend you have, consumption. Another name is consumption, that is uh, uh, our expenditure. And then S means saves. So expenditure and save. Together we say national income. Then what is national savings? Uh, What's the uh, uh, national spending? We say national spending is divided into personal spending and investment. So C is your personal spending and then investment. So we say national spending is what? National spending means is personal spending C plus your investment. Now use both the equation. Then you will find what you will find, national income minus national spending equals savings minus investment. Now, the opinion. If your national income is more than national spending, it means your savings as, as means what? Your savings 
I mean, work investment. So your savings uh, will be more than investment. That is, you have surplus capital spent overseas. So try to understand this symbolic presentation. Again, when we say national income, national income equals our spending and savings. National spending means our spending and investment. If we rearrange these two equation, we will get national income minus national savings. So the difference will be equal to your spending minus investment. Spending minus investment. If your national income is more than national spending, it indicates your savings will be more than investment. When savings will be more than investment, it means you have a surplus capital spent overseas. Remember number D, in a freely floating system, excess savings equals the capital account balance. You see that, what is the capital account balance? Excess savings equal the capital account balance. Now, think 